What's up, everybody? I'm Jatin, and she is Richa, and we are married, married friends. friends. We believe that happily ever after is not a myth, but it's not easy though. And we have to work, work really hard for that. So if you are ready to have a loving relationship for the lifetime, do subscribe now. Let's get to today's topic, shall we? Yes. So I'll share a story with you guys. Uh, this year, sometime in the mid of 2018, uh, we were chit chatting and we realized that we hadn't fought for so many months. Yeah. And we were so surprised with that. We were not only proud of ourselves, but thought that we have grown up so much. You have grown up so much. You were so proud of us. No one will not listen to this story except for my family. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. No one will not listen to this story. It's true, it's true. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Continue, let's continue our story. Uh, so at that time we thought that what if we can make it for the entire year? Also, it seemed like it's not at all possible, obviously, but we made it. No fights in 2018. Yay! <laughs> so and it's not like we suppressed our negative feelings or conflicting ideas. It wasn't like that. So we thought of documenting it and sharing how we managed not to fight with each other for so long. Yeah, in fact, let's continue it forever. <laughs> Chubbe! <laughs> Over the time, as we have grown up, we have realized that men and women are completely different human beings. They have different needs. They see things differently and do those things differently. They have different priorities and expectations from life. Yeah, and that is why we don't force each other to do things like we want to do that particular thing. For example, if I have a particular way to do any of the household things, I can't. In fact, I don't expect him to follow my exact guidelines. And similarly, he doesn't have any unwanted expectations from me. And we have been through this phase where we used to argue all the time because of these expectations. And I think we have learned a lot from that. Yeah, and that is why uh, we don't fight on things like uh, why there's this wet towel on the bed, why kitchen is not clean, why shoes are not in place. Because we all know that the fight starts with why there's this wet towel on the bed and it goes till Don't you dare talk about my parents. Getting the point. But who has the time and energy for that? What we try is instead of having arguments, we can have some respectful communication with each other. It's tough, very tough, but that's the secret. And we all should have started practicing it yesterday. We are not perfect. We also make mistakes. There are a lot of things, a lot of things that I don't like about her. And there are a couple of things that she doesn't like me about as well. Right? So there are none. You heard her, right? None. But apart from that, there are so many positive things in both of us and we both love each other for those. And that drives us to stay happy and positive every day. Generally, the human tendency is to focus on negatives and, you know, take them personally. But try and practice not doing that. Appreciate the small, small things that they do for you. For example, uh, like making healthy breakfast every day or getting up early so that, you know, they can spend time with you. So the lesson is... Focus on positives and stay happy. Hmm. Over the years, we have realized one very important thing. You don't have to end an argument then and there. And uh, I always thought that you should never go to bed before resolving the conflicts. And now I know how wrong I was at that time. Uh, because, you know, when you are having an argument or you're fighting, your brain stops to see the right thing. All you want to do is win the argument. And that's why there's never an end to any fights or argument. So what do we do? If we ever get into such kind of conflict, I try to go out to get some fresh air. And that's how I cool off my mind. I also try to calm myself at home and uh, try to understand what had just happened. And when he comes back home, we talk about that in a more peaceful and respectful manner and come to some conclusion. And most of the time we realize that we were essentially talking about the same thing, but in different yeah. languages. And uh, it's just that we were not able to explain it to yeah, each exactly. other. Exactly. 
देर आर टाइम्स वेन शी इज नॉट फीलिंग गुड अबाउट समथिंग आई आस्क अबाउट इट मे बी वंस और ट्वाइस बट शी इफ शी डजेंट वॉन्ट टू टॉक इट्स बेटर टू लीव इट देयर बट वी डू मेक श्योर टू ब्रिंग आउट द टॉपिक वेन द अदर पर्सन इज इन अ गुड मूड टू टॉक अबाउट दैट दैट वे वी आर एबल टू अवॉइड एनी फाइट और आर्ग्यूमेंट एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो वी गेट टू अंडरस्टैंड वट द अदर पर्सन वॉज फीलिंग which may not have been possible when they were not in the good uh, mood but i think uh, for women it works slightly different i guess because uh, like there are times if i am not feeling good about anything i would want him to ask me and listen to me without giving any solution so so it's you who have to judge how the other person is feeling ask them and try to keep yourself calm that is the most important thing or be ready for next battle yeah we all are very occupied with our job with other household work and after that whatever time we are left with we think why to spend that time in these silly arguments and the short end that we both have especially on weekdays we spend that time in talking to each other we share about our day sometimes we even go out for a walk or have dinner outside and that is how we stay connected every single day so it's you who need to decide how to spend the time that you have you can either decide to spend that time with silly banters such as uh, messy room or coming from late from office or you can have a loving conversation and i would like to add one more point here that uh, you know even if sometimes you see an argument coming there's no harm in keeping yourself low and save your time and mood so your choice is yours ठीक है चलो